We'll start by opening our red line box, and inside of that we will find three smaller boxes. The first box I'm opening here is the spindle motor and the collets. The 80 millimeter spindle uses ER20 collets, and it includes a quarter inch, half inch, three eighths inch, and eighth inch collet. Next, we're going to open our second box, which includes all of our cables and our collet wrenches. And in our last box, we will find the VFD with the mount as well as the digital readout, or DRO. The first thing we're going to unpackage is the digital readout. You can see here that it comes with a plastic protective screen cover on it, and we are going to remove that in just a moment. First, we'll unwrap the rest of the VFD, and we'll also pull the fuse that is taped to the outside of the bubble wrap off so that we can install that in a minute. When looking at the left side of the VFD, on the bottom right corner, we'll find where our fuse needs to be installed. For 110 versions, this is a 12 amp fuse, and for 220 versions, this is a 10 amp fuse. Shifting our focus back to the digital readout for a moment, we're going to pull the knob off of the front, then we can remove the plastic covering that is protecting the screen. Once we've removed that, we can place the knob back onto the readout, and we'll move on to our next steps. The first cable we're going to connect is our PWM IO cable for the Masso. This is the communication cable that allows the VFD and the controller to talk to each other. Plug it in, then turn the ring clockwise to secure it in place. Next, we're going to remove the two small bolts on the right side of the VFD with a two millimeter hex key. We're going to use these to mount our DRO to our Masso. The next cable we're going to connect is our three pin connector cable for our digital readout, as well as the RJ45 connector for our digital readout on the right side of the Masso. With those cables in place, we can now mount the digital readout to the left side of the Masso screen. You'll notice there are two threaded inserts on the back of the Masso controller casing that will line up perfectly with the mounting holes for the digital readout. We'll first install the top bolt, leaving it loose so that we can align our second bolt. Then we will secure that and then go back to our top bolt and finish securing it. With our DRO bolted to the side of our Masso controller, we can now connect our three pin connector to the bottom of the digital readout and our RJ485 to the back of the digital readout. Next, we'll connect the other end of our Masso PWM connection cable. This is the one that we plugged in first, and the other side will plug into the bottom of the Masso just beneath the tool setter, probe, and laser. The next cable we're going to connect is our VFD spindle cable on our VFD. There are pins to align with the connector on both sides, then we'll push it in and turn clockwise to secure it in place. We'll use a four millimeter hex key to secure it in place. After securing our spindle into the mount, we can now connect the spindle cable. Just as on the VFD, there are interlocking pins to align, then we'll push in and turn clockwise to secure the cable in place. Lastly, we will install our 110 volt AC power cable. This inlet will be the same on the 220 versions. The only difference will be the plug on the wall. Finally, we can press the spindle clockwise button to make sure that it spins up correctly. And once we see that it does, we can press the spindle stop button and we're ready to get carving. <laughs> 